court appearance, actress Felicity Huffman, escorted by her husband William H. Macy, makes her way to the entrance of the court in Boston. Photo, Joseph Prezioso, AFP, Getty Images, Desperate Housewives, Star Huffman jailed over college admissions scandal independent.ie, Desperate Housewives, Star Felicity Huffman was sentenced yesterday to 14 days in prison for paying $15,000, €13,500, to rig her daughter's SAT scores in the college admissions scandal that ensnared dozens of wealthy and well-connected parents. HTTPS colon slash slash www.independent.ie slash world dash news slash north dash America slash desperate dash housewives dash star dash Huffman dash jail dash over dash college dash admissions dash scandal dash three eight four nine six five for one dot HTML HTTPS colon slash slash www.independent.ie slash incoming slash article three eight four nine six seven oh six dot EC slash two one four 55 slash auto crop slash h342 slash af underscore 1k96 ku dash read dash only dot jpg email desperate housewives star felicity huffman was sentenced yesterday to 14 days in prison for paying fifteen thousand dollars thirteen thousand five hundred euros to rig her daughter's sat scores in the college admissions scandal that ensnared dozens of wealthy and well-connected parents Huffman, 56, became the first of 34 parents to be sentenced in the case. She was also given a $30,000 fine, 250 hours of community service and a year of supervised release. Before sentencing, she tearfully described her daughter asking why Huffman didn't trust her. I can only say I am so sorry, Sophia, Huffman said. I was frightened. I was stupid, and I was so wrong. I am deeply ashamed of what I have done. I have inflicted more damage than I could ever imagine. I now see all the things that led me down this road, but ultimately none of the reasons matter because at the end of the day I had a choice. I could have said no. A total of 51 people have been charged in the scheme, the biggest college admissions case ever prosecuted by the Justice Department. Prosecutors had recommended a month in prison for Huffman, while her lawyers said she should get probation. In arguing for incarceration, Assistant U.S. Attorney Eric Rosen said prosecutors had no reason to doubt the rationale Huffman offered, her fears and insecurities as a parent, for taking part in the scheme. But with all due respect to the defendant, welcome to parenthood, Mr. Rosen said. Parenthood is terrifying, exhausting and stressful, but that's what every parent goes through. What parenthood does not do, it does not make you a felon, it does not make you cheat. In fact, it makes you want to serve as a positive role model for your children. Huffman's lawyer Martin Murphy argued that her crimes were less serious than those of her co-defendants, noting that she paid a low amount and that, unlike others, she did not enlist her daughter in the scheme. One of the key things the court should do is to impose a sentence that treats Ms. Huffman like other similarly situated defendants, not treat her more harshly because of her wealth and fame, or treat her more favorably because of her wealth and fame, Mr. Murphy said. The scandal has embroiled elite universities across the country, including Yale, Stanford, Georgetown and UCLA. It exposed the lengths to which parents will go to get the children into the right schools and reinforced suspicions the college admissions process is slanted toward the rich. Prosecutors said parents schemed to manipulate test scores and bribed coaches to get the children into elite schools by having them labeled as recruited athletes for sports they didn't even play. Huffman pleaded guilty in May to a single count of conspiracy and fraud as part of a deal with prosecutors. The case is seen as an indicator of what's in store for other defendants. Over the next two months, nearly a dozen parents are scheduled to be sentenced. Fifteen parents have pleaded guilty, while nineteen are fighting the charges.
Among those contesting the charges are Full House actress Laurie Loughlin and her fashion designer husband, Mossimo Giannulli, who were accused of paying to get the two daughters into the University of Southern California as fake athletes. Former Stanford University sailing coach John Vandermeer is the only other person sentenced so far and received today in prison. He admitted helping students to get into Stanford as recruited athletes in exchange for $270,000 for his sailing program. Huffman paid $15,000 to boost her older daughter's SAT scores with the help of William Rick Singer, an admission consultant at the center of the scheme. Singer, who has pleaded guilty, allegedly bribed an examiner to correct the teenager's answers. Irish Independent Let's Block Ads why?